Blue Table fans, we're here with Joseph, and uh, he's just completed another masterpiece. So why don't you tell us all about it? These are the Imperial Knight Titans. Um, there's a couple different options they have for weapons, which is really fun. Now they have either this flaming cannon right here, or it's magnetized, you can take that off. Yep, or a rapid fire battle cannon. Again, when you have magnetized parts, especially larger ones, you uh, you don't click them on straight on. You actually walk them on. Yeah, kind of go okay. on an angle. Yep. Okay, so go ahead. What else? Well, this kit came with a lot of a lot of decals, which is something that I don't normally get to use on a model. So when I got the decal kit for this, I kind of said I'd go with it and use the heraldry and that kind of thing that came along with it. And so. I used one paint scheme that I got for inspiration off of uh, Game Workshop's site and just kind of went from there and did some personalization for each of the, uh, uh, for the, each of the individual knights. So keep them kind of uniform, but also individual based upon the decals that came with them. They're pretty extensive. The, the sheets are really quite fun. And this is uh, just one of the guys here. And I did a lot of, um, I want to keep them a little bit newer looking, so I did just did a little bit of oxidation for the. Um, yeah, not a the ton of battle rounds damage. underneath. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. This guy's probably my favorite one. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's really good. So they're really quite fun. And uh, we actually added some additional banners here, here, and yeah, there's one on the end there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's next? And so they're. Quite fun. These ones actually have a lot more narrative than, uh, than the ones I've been doing lately. I, one thing I really kind of like about this is there's a little, um, little ladder up here, an access ladder, and there's a little access latch right here for the one <laughs> you drop in. I thought that was like, that's fantastic. Oh, that's some good thought went into it. One thing that's I noticed great. with these is there's tons of mechanical detail up underneath. And it yeah, was, I, I had heard that these had a, a very, an unusual amount of detail. Yeah, very unusual, very fun. Very unusual, but it was it was quite a delight to to work with. And on this one, I kept all of the um, chassis and uh, main structural metals, right? Uh, one type of metal, and I kept everything else another one. So. Well, but you, and, but you've broken it up a lot yeah. with uh, whatever this other color is. Uh, right. We we use Vallejo paints. So uh, what what color is that? Do you remember? Is that like uh, brass? This is a, like a, there's tin and then uh, bronze right. on top, and then I mixed. Um, German camouflage black and brown and um, turquoise to get right. this oxidation color here. And I, you know, one thing, even though that is uh, supposedly oxidation, right? Mm -hmm. Not supposedly. Uh, well, I guess supposedly because it's just painted on. It's not real oxidation. Right. All right. Overthinking as usual. And um, but uh, one thing Joseph does is he he doesn't make his shadows just black. They actually have blues and other colors in there. And right. I think that the eye picks, on the, uh, picks up on that subconsciously, and it makes for a more uh, beautiful piece. Yeah, these were pretty, pretty fun to paint. Um, I came up with something simple. I've never painted these before, so I just wanted to um, kind of go with something simple and uniform. Well, but they're I, fun. Though. I think these are great. I can't wait yeah. to show them off at Adepticon. And, yeah, looks fun. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got to do it hands off, uh, heads up hats off to Games Workshop. I mean, the decals, there's tons of them on the sheet and they're really fun to work with. And it gives you a lot of work, a lot of, um, I guess, uh, flexibility. Right, you don't have to hand paint all this stuff on. Yeah, and there's enough variety that, you know, you'd be tickled just to do what they provide. All right, fantastic. Well, Joseph, thanks a lot. It's uh, brilliant work as usual. See you later, Blue Table fans.